Nika from Thunder Mother, and you're watching CMS TV. The very last track, which is probably my favorite on the record, World on Fire, which is probably the most openly newsy slash political. It's not necessarily political, but it's kind of like an overview of what's going on today. Mm -hmm. And I think it has the greatest lyric that you guys have ever put on any of your records. With oh, wow. <laughs> radio silence should be words to live by. That could not be more true of anything you guys have ever said musically. <laughs> so talk, talk a little bit about that one and why you guys were so willing to, that is probably the biggest change up I see is that it's the first time I ever remember listening to a Skid Row song and thinking about it as, wow, is that completely today's political spectrum that we're kind of stuck in? Yeah, it, um, it, it's like you said, it's not, not so much political as it is just a standing back and looking at things. And sure. it's like, you know, maybe everyone in the world shouldn't voice their opinion. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe it's not important that with with all the shit that's going on, maybe maybe you flapping your mouth is making shit worse. You know what I mean? Right. And so that that's kind of you know that that that's where the lyrics just came out of, and that was a song that we wrote in. That was that was like the last song that we wrote, I believe, and that mm -hmm. was during rehearsals, or we went back into pre-production because Nick is like, "You guys need more songs." So we went mm -hmm. back in, and we wrote um, "Not Dead Yet" and um, "World on Fire," and it was just Snake had a riff. He's like, "Here's a bunch of my, here's what I have," and uh, then Nick kind of, you know, pulled it apart, rearranged it, and then I started writing lyrics, and uh, both had some melody ideas. And those were just, it was just feelings. And although, uh, you know, it was last minute, the, the more I listened to it, I'm like, I didn't realize it was such, we were making such a statement when, sure. when we were writing the song. And, you know, that, that was truly where our head was at as we were writing those lyrics. It's just like, man, it's just like, let's just, Let's just just stop this shit, you know. Right. What I mean? Let's just just stop. Just shut up a second. Like my mom, the old saying, "Stop and smell the roses." You know, right? My mom would always say that when she saw that I was going going. You're working too hard. You know, I get off tour and then just work at home and then get back right. on tour. She's like, "You gotta just chill and just stop and smell <laughs> the roses and right. just enjoy life a little bit." And uh, yeah, and my dad was a big big uh, uh he, he was <laughs> he'd always be like if you talk too much sooner or later you're gonna say stupid shit you right. know so just like say what you gotta say and then and you're done yeah you're done exactly. you know you don't have to keep talking just to hear your own voice and <laughs> right. I, I i feel completely yeah. the same when people start going on about stuff whatever the topic is i'm like oh my god oh. i would say shut up <laughs> yeah no no matter how much you say you eventually sound stupid that's what my dad used to say to me yeah exactly <laughs> exactly my dad, dad would always say too when you run out of things to talk about when when or, or when you're at a party and you start talking about the weather you've run out of things to talk about so yeah. go home go home <laughs> you know <what> exactly I mean? <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Chris Aiken, and I have got a special for you. This one right here. This is it. And other things I should not say. The book that's probably caused me more problems than it was worth, but I don't care because it was fun to write and fun to release, and it is out there. I just found a box with a few copies that are autographed, so for those of you that have been trying to get it autographed, now's the time. I literally have three copies of it, so if you want it, Come get it. Get it right now. It is 
and other things I should not say. My tales of my debauchery in Korea. It's a wild one, folks, but get it today over at chrisakenbooks.com. Get them while you can.